it's a, it's a tough loss, man. Another tough loss, and uh, proud of our kids for not giving up. I mean, this could have easily turned into a you know 18, 20 point defeat. I mean, you know, we played a uh, uh, a bad first quarter, played a great second quarter, uh, started out the third okay, and then we just we just didn't bring it in the third. And I thought we played a, a good fourth quarter. Uh, we didn't give up. Our kids kept fighting. And uh, we had opportunity to win. Uh, you know, we had a timeout there, and and uh, you know, uh, you know, do you use it and let them set up a defense that you're not expecting? You drop something for a man, they come out in one three one, or you just try to let it play out and try to let it play out, and uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, somehow, uh, you know, the ball got you know uh, fumbled and they tied it up. But but uh, we had a chance to win. Uh, you know, this is a moment of, uh, we can learn a lot from this, this moment. Uh, I've seen a lot of fight. Uh, you know, it, the disappointing thing of it is you see the desperation, uh, the way we play in a, in a, in a, in a final three and a half minutes. You know, I, you know, I'm just figuring, trying to figure out how, how can I can get these kids to play like that for the entire 32 minutes starting from the tip. And uh, it's disappointing. Um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm giving these guys everything I have, and uh, you know, I, at times they're giving me everything they have, and we just, we just haven't been able to put four good quarters together yet. And, uh, it's disappointing, but uh, I'm encouraged by the fight, and I'm encouraged that these guys didn't give up. Coach Whitlow, um, you know, like you were saying with the fight, I thought that it was you showed great fight even in the first half. You only had three field goals in the first half, but then when I, I believe. 19 of 21 from the foul line in the first half to kind of keep you in the game. But I thought that the guys kept on going. You were very intense with them and, and keeping the defensive pressure up. Well, I, I mean, we, we uh, you know, we had good defensive pressure. Uh, we got some good turnovers. Uh, we scored off some. I thought there was a few opportunities where we could have slowed it down, maybe kick back to a trailer, maybe get a ball reverse and attack from the other wing. But uh, we had a few uh, uh, moments where we got the turnover. They loaded up in the paint when they, they were there back, and uh, we tried to force a few things. And, and uh, you know, sometimes you got to take the turnover and, and uh, you know, push it. You don't have anything, bring it back out, get a ball reversal, get into a set, get some floor spacing, and just play. Um, you know, uh, you know we, we, we just wasn't able to, to put it all together, and I wasn't able to find uh, a good five that could get it done offensively and defensively, and then in the end we start matching offense for defense. Uh, I thought Marcus came in and spelled us a few minutes there. I thought Phillip came in and spelled us a, a few minutes. Uh, I thought AJ played hard and uh, Keisha. I mean, everybody's growing and getting better uh, individually. It's just as a team, you know, we got to get somebody in this group to just say, "Hey, guys, get on my back. We're not going to lose." Christian tried to do it at the end, but uh, you know he was struggling to begin uh, at the beginning of the game. And, and what happened was they face guarded him, they showed him a lot of attention, and he sped up. And, and what he has to learn is that you don't allow a face guard, or you know you're going to get scouted when you score 33 and 39 and 25 and 24. You're going to you're going to get some 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 different defensive looks, but you just got to slow down, trust your teammates, take care of the basketball. And uh, let the game come to you. And I, I think he tried to force it a few times, and uh, but he got himself together in the end. And uh, you know, I thought our man-to-man -man defense wasn't bad. Uh, I just, you know, it, it's one of the reasons why I don't play as much man because you know we, we get some, some we get a lot of questionable calls. And uh, we're, we're we can be an aggressive group, but uh, you know it, it's 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 challenging sometimes when you, you know, sometimes it feel like it's five against eight. Uh, I don't want to make excuses, but it's tough. It's tough. Uh, my guys are playing hard, and they are winners. Uh, you know, uh, despite our record, I got a bunch of winners in that locker room, and I'm proud of them, guys. And we're going to keep fighting. We're not going to move apart. We're going to stay together. Rick, talk about what you said to your team during your first time out. You got on them pretty good at some point, and then they kind of changed a little bit from a standpoint they were driving more to the basket. And I, I heard you say to them a couple of times, get to the rim. Did you decide at some point, listen, let's stop shooting so many threes and let's be more aggressive to the basket? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I thought that we, 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 we settled so much early on in the game. I think we're a good shooting team, but when we're not getting those shots in rhythm, 
there are not good shots. And so I thought we had guys settled where I thought we could have put the ball on the floor. We could have put a bit, a little bit more pressure on the paint. Uh, and, and uh, you know, we ended up selling for, for some, some long bombs and and, 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 and and we just didn't have it tonight on the three point. I mean, we've shot the ball fairly well from the three, but on the road, sometimes you just don't have it. And so you, you have to continue to put pressure on the paint, get to the line. And, uh, you know, we shot the ball better tonight from the foul line than we have, you know, if, you know the last couple games. So there are some positives out of tonight, but we just, you know, we, you know, we, we just came short. Coach, last question here. You know, a quick bounce back tomorrow. Rival Connersville coming in undefeated. Um, me and you have talked. We talked today. This is a team that I still feel um, is very capable of beating Connersville. Let's speak a little bit on how we go tomorrow night. Well, you know, um, all we can do is look for the next game. You know, we got to we gotta dust ourselves off. We got to stick together. And uh, we have to understand that Connersville, you know, they get up for Richmond. And uh, we have to find a way to muster up enough energy, enough juice, uh, the high octane to be ready for tomorrow night. Uh, I expect an electric crowd, and uh, I, I think our guys will be ready. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, th this is a moment of growth and progression. Uh, although we came up short, and I'm hoping these guys will be ready to play tomorrow because Connersville is going to be a handful. They're a really good team. They're well coached, you know, defending sectional champions, and so we'll get a chance to see where we are against these guys. and. Uh, you know, we'll, 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 put, we'll put the finishing piece to our game plan tonight and hopefully tomorrow we'll be ready to go.